COVID. Oh my god, I'm pregnant. Okay. Okay. Check in with. Video that we have to watch for 4 to 5 minutes before we meet with the doctors. And here's the checklist that they've given us to be. Hi, so today will be my last day wearing spectacle. I'll be heading to Clear Vision at Orchard now with him to accompany me. Hello. Hello. So Wish me luck. Hope that everything will go well. And see you after surgery. Yeah! Hi all. Now it's still day one after the surgery at, um, at around 11am in the morning. So it's now around 6 plus p.m. at night, so I feel much better. But after the su surgery, right, I didn't expect it to be painful, but actually it's painful in my eyes. Which is surprising because I watched a lot of reviews saying that you can only feel like discomfort around the eye area or just the top part of the eyes. But actually I can do, I feel pain as in like, um, you can feel like the cutting onion sensation so I'm actually uh, in my room now with my curtain closed, lights off and then uh, everything is very dark now but still I'm using these sunglasses just to protect my eyes yeah. and then I'm actually still closing my eyes now Yeah. and then my boyfriend is here to take care of me and then he's the one who is keeping track of the eye drop timing every hour so it's good to have someone over here to take care of you because uh, I can't open my eyes I can't also see uh, which eye drop to put on my eyes so it's actually very good to have someone beside you to keep track of all of these Hi, things good afternoon so now it's day 2 of surgery just woke up not long ago because uh, the sleeping pills that they gave right really made me sleep throughout the whole night I didn't wake up for a while and then like to check my phone or anything I just slept throughout all the way till now so it was quite cool and then it makes my eyes rest a lot also um, so I woke up with no pain in my eyes 0% pain now that I try to take out my sunglasses uh, and looking around it's still a bit blurry and then I'm still facing some haziness in front of my eyes uh, I can't say that I have the perfect eyesight yet because all the things that are like quite far away from me I still can't see them in clear details so maybe just have to see for a few days and then hopefully I could get my perfect eyesight soon Let's close. so this one is like a um, air freshener or air purifier where I can put uh, some drops of very nice fragrant oil so I choose the lush the lush oil and then wow this really helps me to like cool myself down as, as I have nothing much to do in my room so what I could do is just lay down and have very nice smell as well as calmly listen to the music from the radio station good morning all so today is recovery day 3 and today I will be going back to the Mount Elizabeth Hospital and then visit the doctor, maybe give us, uh, give me some tips on how to further take care of my eyes until the end of the recovery process. But so far so good, I'm still experiencing some haziness and blurriness in front of me but still slowly slowly my eyes will get better and then it's still one of the best decisions I made for I mean in my life which is very good 
stay tuned for more okay hi so now it's still recovery day three i received an update earlier from uh, dr james that i'm still not able to take out uh, both of the contact lens in my eyes yet so i have to wait either this coming friday which is two days from now or next monday let's just wait and see okay um just a rundown of things that they provide after the surgery inside this um, blue goodie bag from clear vision okay of course a photo yeah with dr james Ng, and then also they will provide four eye drops which um, the nurses help to label already one two three and four these are very actually these are actually very useful especially when you have to keep track of um what eye drop to use at what time so it looks very confusing at first but just let me go through with you for my day one and day two um the eye drops have to be taken every hourly so as you can see here one two three four it's the same as the bottle one two three four so each hour you have to use a different eye drop so for me right after the surgery the nurse actually had me put number one at 11 10 a.m so the next one i have to do is at 12 um 12 15 i did one hour later plus plus yeah so i have to use number two which is the one the second one and then the next one one hour later again is number three and then it's number four and then after number four we'll be back to number one yeah we do this every hourly and i tried my best to um, stick to the schedule of one hour so that it won't clashes with the rest of the eye drop so try your best to keep track of the timing by writing it down here so that you won't forget which eye drop to put next but um for me because on the first day my eyes was very painful so uh, my boyfriend was the one who helped me to keep track while I'm the one just lying down there trying to close my eyes and just uh, hope that the pain would go away so yeah same goes for day two over here okay so besides the four eye drops that they have given to me they also provided this uh, wet wipes this is to um, wipe all the dirt at the inner corner of your eyes to the outer corner because it's not advisable to uh, splash water or let any water touch your eye for one week so this is actually very helpful and they actually give quite a lot of packets I already used up some so <laughs> that's why it's as it explains why I left so few and then um, they also provided another kind of eye drops I think this is called a wetting eye drop. I really use it. This a wetting eye drop. It's um, to be used um, any time of the day wherever you feel like there's a sting in your eye or your eyes are not comfortable. So this is like to just help you ease your eyes and then ease the pain for a while. Yeah. And then there's also this um, sleeping pill. At first, I, I sell can this sleeping pill. I thought it was like, wow, so small. can really make me sleep. Wow, I ate this on the first night of the surgery. And I slept throughout the day till afternoon. So, I I, I thought it was so strong. I, I cut it into half for the next day. And then, I still can sleep for a really, really long time. And then, this is also a painkiller. So, I actually ate this on the first day after the surgery because my eyes was really painful and then I hope I was hoping that this could like ease some of my pain and then yeah yeah afterwards I don't feel any pain anymore so I didn't eat the rest of the medicine so yeah here comes the clear vision goodie bag pack hi good afternoon so today is day four of my recovery um, today nothing much in particular but um, I've been using more screen time as compared to the other days where my eyes would feel painful and hurtful whenever I just look at the screen so I guess it's a slight improvement 
and then tomorrow I'll be going back to the Mount Elizabeth Hospital to have another checkup and to see whether I can finally take out both of the contact lens in my eyes. So keep you guys posted. Hello, so this is recovery day 5. I've just visited Dr. James earlier on and he mentioned that uh, I can finally remove the contact lens in my eyes on this coming Monday. So in 3 days time. So my father is now sending me home. Yay! Hello, so today is day 8 and I've just visited Dr. James earlier on and I finally removed the contact lens in my eyes. But the thing is, he told me he can't find the contact lens in my right eye which I panicked because I didn't even touch anything and then he told me that oh it's quite common because uh, we sleep with the contact lens in our eyes and then it maybe um, magically just came out on its own or whether it went to the back of my eye. So two weeks later, I will just come back and then he will just double check where the contact lens is. But for now, he told me that um, nothing to worry, uh, just continue to put eye drops as per usual and uh, my vision also won't be affected by this. So, very good and peace out. Okay, so for day 8, they also gave a new set of eye drop and a new schedule to follow. So, for me, um, for example, if I'm doing today, right, I like to plan ahead so that I can also put uh, the timing in my alarm clock to remind me what eye drop to put in. If not, I have too many timing to remember which I will eventually forget. So I like to plan it out ahead first before I start the day. I will just do a quick rundown of the new schedule that I have. So initially, I have to put eye drops every hourly or every two hours. But for now, they actually um, stretch out the timing. So it's either every three hour, four hour or just four times a day. But this will be only for um, today and tomorrow. And the rest of the days, right, I just have to focus on eye drop number four, which is the FML. And But for now, I have to finish up my current one first before I move on to A and then B. Then they also gave this new one and this have to be used every two hourly. And then um, if you never finish within one day, right, you actually have to discard it away and then use a new one again. Because inside there's actually 30 vials inside. So yeah, that's all. Hi all, so today is day 10 and my eyesight for today is slightly blurry than usual. Um, but actually for the past few days, my eyesight has been fluctuating so it's either um, good, clear, blurry or sometimes even hazy uh, but I think it's quite normal because my eyesight is still recovering and for now what I can only do is to wait and see and to also trust the process which is very important that's all for me thank you all for actually uh, watching throughout this whole video and also uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. James and the nurses that also guided me throughout this whole new journey of mine. See you guys in my next video, hopefully a vacation one because I really, really, really want to go on a vacation. So, bye!